So these are the differences only in case of the PSD and the wireless. And they are going to hand in hand, whatever we can say, the um, uh, uh, required uh, uh, things are there. That is uh, um, public switch telephone network and they are uh, going to work in hand in hand. So public switch telephone network, they are shown here, that is uh, the central office PO, local loop, uh, through central office, whatever the wired connection are connected, that is nothing but the local loop, local landline telephone network. Then tandem switch is there to connect the, uh, we can say interconnect interconnections for the interconnection. A local loop is in the intra connection and uh, tandem switch for the interconnection. So IXA, IXB, IXP and the other CEOs are there. Uh, with the help of that, uh, uh, these, these, these are the different, another we can say the networks are connected to the central office. Limitations in the wireless networking. Wireless communication system is extremely complex. Is it a complex? Yes, it is a complex at the time of means uh, deployment and all. Requires an ear interface uh, to provide the telephone uh, great communication. Propagation conditions are quite different. Use the locations are arbitrary. Um, so uh, these are the these are the things we have to we have to keep in mind. That is requirements of the ear interface. So what telephone grade uh, communication? That is uh, there should not be noise. Uh, particular means whatever the uh, we are going to do conversation. It is understand by each and every one. And uh, when it will understand, it will understand when the noise is less. That is the one thing. So we have to keep in mind. Propagation conditions are quite different. Propagation conditions, as we know, that means uh, whatever the um, uh, MIMO, uh, many, many times you are going to hear that MIMO, that is multiple input, multiple output. These particular things are there and uh, how to cope up with the uh, different signals coming with the, with the different parts. And that is, that is nothing but the MIMO, multiple input, multiple output. So uh, conditions are quite different. Uh, user locations are arbitrary. So user locations anywhere may be there and that particular are uh, uh, have a different conditions of the environment, they have a different conditions of the noisy level and uh, we have to cope up with all the things. Okay, uh, number of base stations is large to ensure the adequate area coverage. But, uh, area coverage that is the base stations required, the base stations number of base stations are very much uh, higher in number. Uh, because over the over the uh, area we have to cover complete area and in that particular area how much is the power transmitted from the base station and then uh, which last mobile can get that particular connection um, at way, what uh, distance only and it will decide that uh, how the uh, coverage of the, the geographical coverage of the base station will be there okay so sometimes the number is hundreds and uh, each base station must be connected to the msc um, Sir, hella hella agnara kaya hai, sir, infrastructure hai. Whatever the base stations are there, base stations are connected to the mobile stations. And that's why the number of base stations are increased. And as the number of base stations are going to increase, the cost is going to increase. And because of that particular, we can say, if we have to cover all the areas, the number of base stations will be there and cost is more for that. MSC must provide the connection for each of the mobile users to the PSTN. Machine must have uh, provide the connection for each of the mobile users. So take mobile user la connection to the user to the PSTN. Okay. So it requires the simultaneous connection to the uh, uh, LEC, one of the more ICX and other MSCs via separate cellular signaling network. So uh, LEC, IFCSC, these are the different type of the networks only, and these are connected to the PSTN, uh, uh, PSTN uh, connected with the priorly connected with the MSC. Okay, so um, these are the these are the uh, comes under the limitations because um, every system is requirement it has its own requirement like the 
requirements of the air interface, requirements of the large base stations, requirements of the MSCs are connected to the PSTNs, uh, and each and every everything is uh, uh, must be in place. Then and then only the possibility of the communication is there in case of the wireless network. Uh, now problems are there and what are the different problems so radio channel is extremely hostile and the random uh, user may request service uh, from the uh, physical location while the traveling over a wide range of velocities the msc is forced to switch false uh, in uh, perceptibly uh, between the station and throughout the, throughout the system Okay, so um, uh, style is uh, nothing but that uh, everywhere means uh, uh, mobile uh, subscriber may be anywhere and uh, when uh, he or she is anywhere at that time uh, provision of the services is required and that is uh, nothing but the uh, hostility of that particular uh, uh, subscriber random anywhere they are there conditions are different and uh, in that case also the communication is required. Okay, wireless systems are constrained to operate in a fixed bandwidth. Operate in a fixed bandwidth to support and increase the number of users over time. Need some need some vital techniques. Spectrally efficient modulation, uh, frequency reuse, geographically distributed radio access points. Um, as the wire wireless system grow, the number of base stations and the switching uh, burden of the MSC increases. Geographical location of the user changes constantly. Results extra overhead at all aspects, particularly at the MSC, ensure the seam seamless communication. So. Uh, some problems are there, but uh, uh, one has to overcome these particular problems in order to get the uh, seamless communication to each and every mobile subscriber because it is, it is a need of ours. Okay, so these are the limitations they have given, and you have to keep in mind these particular limitations. Uh, maybe asking the questions related to the uh, problems in wireless uh, networks and the lim limitations of the wireless networks. Development of the wireless network, first generation wireless networks are. Totally analog. Okay, based on the technology, all the cellular systems uses the FM modulation. What type of modulation they are going to use? They are going to use only the um, uh, only only the FM modulation. That is the frequency modulation. And as it is analog, that's why uh, whatever the cellular uh, subscriber station is there, that particular is the individual uh, radio individual radio for transmission and the reception. All the callers. Uh, telephones use single way station to communicate with the single port or terminal, portable terminal. The cordless is an example of the cordless connect the telephone uh, 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 telephone network se connect the uh, that is the only one uh, we can say the subscriber in base station we can say base station is your uh, home telephone and it is connected with the with the uh, with the we can say the one particular portable type of the communication uh, gadget typical example advanced mobile telephone uh, services that is advanced mobile phone services amps uh, amps is one of the uh, uh, service provider that is the mobile service providers or it is the name of the agencies who are going to provide the uh, mobile uh, communication in uh, yes Okay, transport architecture that is the communication signaling between the mobile base station and the MSC in the first generation wireless networks. So, a reverse voice channel that is the forward voice channel, forward voice channel, reverse voice channel, forward voice channel, and reverse voice channel. They are given that is the mobile user and the base station. 
PlayStation is connected to the MSC and it is the uh, uh, Y circuit with 9600 uh, bits per signaling is the data link so they have, they have uh, shown here. Okay. Uh, so this is the transport architecture of the AMPA that is Advanced Mobile Telephone uh, Phone Services. Uh, transport architecture is uh, shown here of the base stations and the mobile stations. Um, MSCs are connected to the uh, home MSC databases and databases is nothing but the home location register, visitor location register and the authentication center. Again, this particular MSCs are connected with the number of base stations in that particular area, uh, wherever they need to connect. Okay. So, uh, base stations are connected with the uh, number of uh, MSCs as well as the particular um, uh, HLR, VLR, and uh, authentication centers. Uh, SS7, that is the signaling system 7, and the PSTN, these are the uh, two different things. SS7 is related to the mobile station, mobile station center to the mobile station connection, and the PSTN is uh, through the whatever the wireline connection in between the two uh, you know, mobile uh, switching centers are there. Okay. Uh, every mobile switching center has the home location uh, register, visitor location register, and the authentication center. Mm. These are the things internally they have, and uh, accordingly they are going to uh, take the uh, subscriber mobile call and uh, request, and they are going to provide the service. So, uh, as we know, that means in this particular the roamer they have shown, and roamer is nothing but in one particular MSC station to another particular MSC station. If you are going to move in that case, you are the roamer. You are the roamer. Uh, roaming to me in Chagodur Kadikar, I class and a class city from the city Madam, and the Kolapur Madam Molapo never is I class from roaming with that either. Nowadays, uh, this particular part is not there because um, services, all services are liberalized uh, over, over a geographical area, and that's why there, there is no requirement of this particular part. Also, in case means to measure uh, MTN in the Bahamati Gala, Mumbai, uh, uh, Mumbai Mahanagar uh, Telecom Network, Sabi Gala, the Pukhre Tumal Dako, the key to me roaming Madia Hatani. But um, uh, not much more differences in case of the roaming. Uh, only thing is that you are going to connect with the another uh, mobile switching center and uh, with the help of that switching center you are you are the guest for that particular mobile switching center and then they are going to uh, receive and transmit the signals uh, to each okay um network network tumhala charges jast padayche tar service providers different asay and tya service provider la je cost lagelele asta te cost different asay and tyachamule um, a kind of service provider, which a kind of subscriber to share service provider, um, uh, area made a lot of He needs to pay some more money uh, to access the services of that particular area. So, provide an analog switch, analog switch, uh, and uh, uh, inefficient, analog switch and inefficient, load, low rate data transmission. And lots of little problems might have been the noise of your car type message at home, uh, rate low or so inefficient as well. Better transmission for more distance we cannot transmit. These are the um, uh, limitations of the analog system. Speech signals are usually digitized using the standard time division multiplex format for the transmission between the base station to MSC and are always digitized uh, for the distribution of the MSC to PSC. Functions of the MSC, that is mobile switching center functions by eye. Maintains all the mobile related uh, information. 
means when uh, once you are registered as a subscriber um what is the name what is the aadhar number what is the uh, your uh, we can say age and everything what is the mobile number you have given all the things are registered uh, in in the um uh, msc control each mobile hand off uh, hand off is controlled by the msc on the purpose all the network management functions like in call handling and the processing billing fraud detection within uh, the market so these are the these are the basic we can say the uh, functions of the msc and uh, as you know that means if the number of uh, stations are connected with the msc so how much is the data at the msc uh, msc because if the kolhapur area has one particular base station um, in uh, phd and area of the uh, of the telephone network then whatever the base station in kolhapur in and around kolhapur are connected to the uh, main station main switching center how much will be the data huge data will be there and that particular data they have to keep it uh, control it hand off uh, uh, control karaycha call handling control karaycha to billing karaycha fraud detect karaycha many more things they are going to do uh, with the help of the msc system uh, connections of the msc that is msc is interconnected with the uh, psdm via landline truncated lines um that is trunks and the uh, tandem switch okay uh msc's are interconnected with the uh, psdn via the landline truncated lines and the uh, uh, tandem switches so um these are also means uh, psdn subscribe uh, psdn is a uh, uh, if they need to take the support or they need to take the uh, help of the infrastructure of the psdn they have to connect with the connect to the Uh, whatever the uh, uh, trunks are there, MSC are also uh, MSC are also connected with other MSC via dedicated signaling channel for exchange of the location, location validation and the call signaling. The other the other side MSC that the MSC one can still be there, but uh, it's not that you know this. I think uh, MSC are normally not connected with. um because psdn has its own uh, we can say network wired network uh, which is connected from one msc to the another msc and uh, they are going to use that particular msc um any uh, rear cases there may be the chances of connection of the msc to msc uh, SS7 signaling network that is uh, about the SS7 we SS7 we are going to see uh, in detail the North American cellular network architecture used to provide good uh, traffic and the signaling traffic between the MSC uh, between the MSC the uh, components of the SS7 network and uh, their applications are described later in this chapter now uh, we are going to see that particular part PSTN is a separate network for um, Uh, from the ss uh, from the ss7 signal network long distance wire traffic wire traffic is carried out on the psdn um, signaling information used to provide the call setup and to inform the msc about a particular user is carried out on the ss7 uh here yeah, ss7 is a kaam hai and ss7 so uh, uh, how it works that uh, we will discuss in a uh, very next lecture um We'll stop here, and.